been a long time since I've like, it's been two weeks. It's two weeks too long to put out a video. And we're here for another one, another video. Get it? You guys see my white bald head? Go blind. That's my superpower, guys. I can make people go blind with my bald head. <laughs> so, I don't know. I was interested. I wanted to give my opinion and thoughts on um, the Fantastic Four team that we can see because I think they look really awesome. All right, that's the whole video. Bye. But yeah, so I'm thinking I want to give my opinion on the Fantastic Four team because they seem really good. And uh, yeah, so let you know what I think, tell you about everything, and we'll do it. Let's get into it. So there's a lot of stuff to like about this team, a lot of stuff to like. Um, and first of all, just the way that they look, super cool. Thumbs up for me. Um, these characters seem really good. Um, they have what you want in a good team, right? So they've got dispels, they've got damage, and um, I'm not sure if they have any debuff cleansing. I didn't really see any of that, so maybe not, but with Invisible Woman, they might have that. They don't have any healing either, which is kind of tough. Um, again, at least not so far, um, unless, of course, that comes with Invisible Woman. And um, I guess we're gonna see with that. Her kit could obviously make these characters a lot better. Um, but yeah, I like human torch i don't know his kit reminded me a lot of like a combination of like phoenix and pyro which is like good they're both good characters so um yeah we'll see i think they're gonna be pretty good though um they're cool i mean he's cool his animations are cool i mean look at him he's like he's like burning his fingers off so that's pretty cool um beyond that mr fantastic he looks pretty good too i mean his Do I look like him? My arms look really long. I'm him now. I'm Mr. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, he seems good. Um, his removal of positive effects is really, really good. It's very similar to the way that uh, Green Goblin works. It seems like, no, not 100%, but it's pretty similar where it's just going to do it on his passive and it's going to remove from multiple enemies if you have it upgraded all the way, which is great. Um, that's really, really good. You know, what's crazy about that is that... Uh, it's gonna be three characters and you're gonna remove the positive effects. He also gives assists so that it'll be Fantastic Four or Namor will always assist. Um, and that's pretty crazy. And really what's crazy about that is, I mean, like he's not even, like it doesn't have to be in war. I mean, again, they're a war-based team 100% um, because they're forced to be that way, unfortunately. But uh, I don't know. I mean, he just, he's good. He's very good. I also wonder like, if he could potentially be used outside of a Fantastic Four team, if for some reason, like, you had him up but not the rest of the team, and just even maybe for, like, removing stuff. I don't know. I don't know why you would ever do that, but it is a really cool mechanic. Um, also, he looks really old. So, with Thing, I don't know. I'm kind of, like, whatever about Thing. Um, here's, like, a chief complaint that I have. Um, he's a simple kit, which is fine, so that's not really a complaint. It's kind of whatever. It's pretty boring, but it's kind of whatever. It's fine. Not everybody has to have an extravagant, crazy kit. But his character model is the exact same as Hulk, um, and that's just lazy. Um, like, why? They gave the other ones completely unique ones, then his is exactly the same. So, I don't know. Hopefully, his animations are different, but we'll see about that. I don't know. I get really just automatically, like, completely unimpressed when characters have the exact same stances and like animations as another character because like i don't know like it's just kind of boring and just feels lazy um but as far as he goes he just does damage um so there's also not really a tank on this team which is pretty weird again unless invisible woman is going to be a tank which doesn't really make sense to me just you know lore based but or lore wise doesn't really make sense to me but i don't know i mean He's just, I don't know, I'm not impressed with him. He just, all he does is a bunch of damage um, and like attacks. I don't know, I guess if it's good, it's good. And that's all you care about is just dealing a bunch of damage. So he's going to be interesting, I guess. We'll see how much damage he does do and um, we'll see how he works with the rest of the team. I'm sure they're going to be good. They seem so good already and you don't even have like the legendary character, which is what a lot of times people consider the like linchpin character. So, I mean, we don't know Invisible Woman's kit yet for sure. It's not been confirmed or anything like that. So... I don't know. All right, and then Namor, who you guys might not 
No, but he is one of the very first uh, Marvel characters ever introduced and through the comics. And um, I don't really know what his relation is to Fantastic Four, if any. Um, I don't know if he's the villain against Fantastic Four. I've never heard of him before. Um, but his name, his full name is Namor the Submariner. I know that. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I actually predicted that he was going to come into the game by looking at the list of people and everybody was just like, no, 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 no. But it was on a stream. So, you know, speaking of streams, quick plug, make sure you are following on Twitch because we're having a great time. Anyways, um, I don't know. It's kind of like his kit is really good, but it feels so random. Like if with fantastic four with fantastic four and i'm just like you're this doesn't make any sense um but whatever so um but yeah i don't know he's like crazy his kit's really good does a lot of damage and like uh just a lot of good stuff um i definitely you know we're definitely going to need him with the team for it to work so other than that his body is completely disproportionate and looks weird his skin looks like armor and i feel pretty strange about that but he's got a trident so that's pretty lit you know turn up name more I don't know. It's a it's an interesting kit, interesting team so far. I mean, we're gonna have to see really how it is with um, with Invisible Woman. I mean, who really knows? You know what I mean? Like, it's just gonna be like, okay, like uh, I don't know. But I imagine that even though they're probably already gonna be pretty good, then with her they'll be even better. Which makes me think that like they might end up being like the best war team. Which I guess maybe like to take that mantle from like. The power armor team, I don't know. I mean, they're obviously still going to be good, so it doesn't really matter who's, like, the best if they can still, you know, punch up and do gazillion damage more than other people. So we'll just see. I mean, we'll see how it works, see how it is. I don't really personally like that they're making characters that are only good in war mode. That feels weird. Um, I personally don't care about war at all. Um, I mean, I play it. I have to for my alliance, but I don't care about it. And, like... I don't want to build any teams that are specifically only for that mode that I really can't use in other modes. That's just me, but I don't know. I tend to think there's probably a lot of people out there like that. Um, it's just, it feels weird. Like, ah, oh, you have to play war because we're giving you good characters for it. I don't know. It's also kind of weird. They're kind of releasing a lot, a lot of characters, a lot of legendary characters recently. And it's just like, slow down for a second. That's how I feel. I don't know how everybody else feels, but... That's my opinion. That's my my two cents about it. So another thing uh, that's going on, um, just like quick shout uh, to uh, the stream on Twitch. Um, guys, just make sure, um, I don't know. I mean, if you like these videos, uh, Twitch is awesome. So I stream uh, Monday through Friday right now, uh, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we hang out, we play games. We don't always play Strike Force. We sometimes play other games, but we play Strike Force sometimes too. Sometimes we just sit and around. I tell you guys stories. We have a great time. Anyways, if you want a community that you feel like you can come and be a part of and belong to and just hang out and it doesn't have to be really based around anything other than just talking or just like being friends, like definitely come and leave a follow on the stream. Uh, it's, it's really great. Uh, I know a lot of people watched on YouTube and then I stopped streaming on YouTube. I needed to do that, it was better that way. So if you're one of those people, make sure to come over to Twitch. Link is in the description. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep selling this to you guys because I think it's awesome. You know, it's kind of like when you believe in something, you want other people to experience it because you know how awesome it is. That's how it is with this. So I'm gonna keep selling it to you guys until you're all on board. So all that said, um, we should be doing more regular videos here, like just moving forward. It should be back to like the way it was before. I don't really know what all to make videos on because there's not all that much content to do stuff on, but it does free me up that I'm able to stream and make videos. I'm gonna be working with an editor now and uh, that's gonna be awesome. So shout out if there's anything embarrassing happening in this video or stupid, um, it's his fault. <laughs> so. Uh, really guys, I appreciate you as always. Um, we're just trying to, you know, live the dream here on YouTube and Twitch. Um, so that's all. I'm thankful that you guys support me and, um, you know, however you support me with views or Patreon or like donations or like subs or whatever, however you do it. Thank you. Um, seriously, it means the world to me. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep growing this thing until we're just doing it, guys. Until we're doing it. So, I don't know. That's all I got. Why do I keep putting my arms back like this? I don't know. I think it looks cool. Does it look cool? I feel like it looks like I'm going to fight somebody. You guys want to fight?
I don't know. What, what am I doing anymore? I put my arms back again. What am I doing? <laughs> I wonder if I could be like the human torch. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Wouldn't that be weird if you just like light your thumb on fire? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Uh, follow on Twitch. That's pretty much it. That's what I got for you guys. If you want to see more of this luscious beard, then you better be there. Okay, bye.